Hi, this is John Ryan with www.teamhandballnews.com, and this is Iran versus Kuwait from the Asian Handball Championships from this past February. We're going to watch the last five and a half minutes here. Here's a goal by Iran, cutting the lead to 27-31. Uh, at the six-minute mark, it was 25-31. So this was the start of the uh, big comeback. So you see Iran is playing an open defense. And they, they get an easy steal here and an easy goal, cutting lead to 28-31. to 31. So they've run off three straight goals to cut the lead to three. You see the goalie there uh, did not touch the ball and that was a fast break so it's hard to fully assess whether he had a chance to stop that one. Iran calls time out here. So it started at uh, at 24-10. The uh, was a high water mark for Kuwait in terms of a lead. We had 24-10 remaining in the second half, and it was 25-31. They rolled off three straight goals. Some of the things you can look for here are how fast Iran uh, is able to score. I uh, did a quick tally, and from the time they get the ball to the time they they score their goal is on average six and a half seconds and generally especially once they get into the half court set it's one pass shoot goal um, and as far as I can tell the goalie never really comes close to making any uh, saves in the last five and a half minutes of the game so Kuwait's in blue, Iran's in red. Number eight there is a, pretty much the star for the Iranian team. Uh, he made the uh, all-star all, all team for the uh, tournament, as did the Kuwaiti goalie. This one to me was pretty telling. Uh, the best as I can tell, the, the Kuwaiti goalie almost, if, if you look, he seems to, he, he takes the near post, and he just, just kind of like opens up for the far post, basically saying, shoot here. It, it doesn't really seem like he uh, made any real attempt to stop the ball. And also I want to point out in fairness to Kuwait, um, it's pretty clear to me that at least some of the players for Kuwait, particularly number seven here, are, are certainly trying, otherwise they wouldn't have scored any goals in the last five minutes. There's the uh, coach for Iran, uh, Yuri Klimov, I believe he's a Russian. Another very quick goal for Iran and actually the, the longest offensive set for them from the time they got the ball it took them 12 seconds to score. So it's 30-32 here with a little under three minutes. Keep in mind the final score of the game is going to be 35-34. And that last pass, you know, it, 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 sometimes you get the bounce pass and it just kind of uh, takes off on the floor. Maybe that's what happened there. Maybe it was an intentional bad pass. Once again, here's Iran. One pass, shoot, score. A little bit of an effort there that time, but the... Uh, uh, Spin shot goes right in. Another question pass. Fast break for Iran. We'll just let him uh, move toward the center there. And it's tied up just like that. 32-32 with two minutes left. And there's the uh, Iranian goalie, Youssef al -Fahabi. 
يعني بإيصال التمريرات بطريقة خاطئة والجمهور yeah, I turned down the sound here on this but I can tell you it was uh, uh, certainly was a good atmosphere at uh, Ayana Rea for the tournament كرة مع حسين عبد الله ذياب الله 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 in all fairness, you look at you look at this last goal here, which was a, a backhanded shot. Um, I suppose if it was the Kuwaiti goalie there and, and he had missed that, I would say, look, the Kuwaiti goalie can't even stop a no-look uh, shot like that from going in. So, you know, you, you look at the situation sometimes and you say, Perhaps the goal is just having a very bad five minutes. And that's why I think it's 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 gonna be difficult for Bahrain to really prove anything here in regards to the outcome. Now keep in mind the situation was that Bahrain needed Iran to lose or draw in this match in order to advance to the semifinals. Iran needed to win. If they won by one goal exactly, Kuwait would advance in first place. Iran would be second. If Iran won by two, uh, Kuwait and Iran would advance. But in this case, uh, Iran would have been the top team and would have avoided South Korea in the semifinals. So it's in Kuwait's best interest to win. Or, I'm sorry, to lose by exactly one goal. And once again, another very quick goal by Iran. Time to score up at 33 all. And you judge for yourself whether that was a, a good defensive effort. So it looked like a goal there, but it was actually a charge. And Kuwait's going to get the ball back. It's just a little, little over a minute left in the match. And this is why I say, you know, at least some of the players for Kuwait were clearly looking to score. Because obviously they would not have scored there if that was uh, their intent to fix the match. But once again, Iran with another very quick goal. And then if you're going to look at the last 30, 40 seconds of this match, in my opinion, that is the most uh, blatant evidence that uh, uh, something fishy is going on. There's going to be a there's going to be a free throw here, and there's 26 seconds left. The referee stops, but he has not sing, made any signal yet for passive play. And you're going to see a couple shots here that are just you know rather questionable in my mind. Um, certainly, a, a more experienced team would have been able to stall out the last 20 seconds here. And what's the intent of that shot there? Or that shot there? Unless you really wanted the other team to have the ball. And you're going to see the parting of the Red Sea there for the goal to make it 35-34 uh, Iran. And the clock, the clock ran out there, but the ref is going to put some more time on the clock. But they really only have three or four seconds left. Now, you might want to try and get a decent shot, maybe perhaps uh, uh, you know get something get something by the goal. It's difficult, but, you know. There's three seconds left, but there's no sense in even trying. And you're gonna see the uh, all-star goalie make sure that this game ends 35-34. At this certain extent, you could, you could argue maybe that at that point you you're you're you've gotten what you need, which is you know first place, and uh, you've advanced to the semifinals. So maybe at that juncture, you know, why take a chance? Uh, you have to judge for yourself, but uh, in my opinion, uh, certainly the goalie for Kuwait uh, and perhaps a few of the court players there uh, were were clearly playing with a 35-34-1 goal outcome as the desired end result.
الدور الثاني اذا هذا في المنتخب البحريني ومبروك في المنتخب الايراني والى ان نلقاكم اعزائي المشاهدين عوده مره اخرى مع الزميل نجيب الكندري وضيفي الكرام مع اللقب الرياضي محمد الهولي يحييكم اجمل تحيه والى اللقاء في مباراه القادمه والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته